Are you ready? Let's reveal your soul. Hey guys, Mr. Ruppy's Missing, bringing you episode 4 for Dance Dance Revolution Mario Mix. So, in the last episode, we conquered the carnival and took down Wario by dancing. And now we move on to world 4, which is Ice World. But don't worry, no ice mechanics to be found here. Or at least, not too many. You'll see what I mean. Alright, so it looks like there's a blizzard going on right now. This blizzard's out of control. We better look for the key on foot. Eh, I don't wanna. But we're doing it anyway. Now, personally, this is my favorite world because, um, with the exception of the first song, all the other ones are strong. Um, and then it's just a very beautiful environment, in my opinion. Or at least more beautiful than all the other environments. Alright, so it looks like we've got a hill to climb. So we're just kind of going to work our way up. Let's try going up the slope. But as with ice mechanics, you can't climb hills. Its path is too slippery to climb. How about that pipe over there? I wonder where it leads. Why didn't you just try the pipe in the first place? All right, in the pipe we go. It's an underground tunnel. Maybe at least to the top of the mountain. If we dance, we should be able to make it there in no time. Because dancing means you apparently walk and teleport and stuff. Um, extra lives available. Don't really need them. So, moving on. Um, alright. So, this is one... This is the song that, um, from this world that I don't really like as much. Um, probably just because it's not from an actual Mario song. Um, the gimmick here is cheap cheats, but instead of being something you have to step on, you actually they will actually change um, where a step goes. So, yep. And then also spinies will be a part of this as well. All right. So we're gonna start the underground tunnel. So I'll be quiet now, and you guys can go ahead and listen. Everybody is watching you. Absolutely wonderful. Water combo. Perfect. Wow, I cannot believe I just missed that last one. Oh well, shit happens. Can I call you a anyway, easy A. Eh? Um, another thing I like about this, um, like about this world is that the difficulty ramps up quite a bit. Um, there's a lot more half steps, which are basically steps where instead of hitting it on the beat, you're hitting it on the half beat. Burr, it's too cold out here. We'll never make it in this weather. Let's warm up in there until the storm passes. Well, maybe if you put on a real shirt. Mario seems fine. It's all about you, isn't it, Toad? Gosh.
And just like that, we're sprung into the next song called F Cabin Fever. Um, this is actually the reason why I think it uses Mario Party 5 graphics is probably because it's got a Mario Party 5 song in it. Um, I'm just gonna buy live just to make sure I have coin room. I don't know. Um, yep. Okay, and then coin switches return in this map. Because in Mario Party, you're collecting coins. So, guys, I'm gonna be quiet now. Go ahead and enjoy. All right, so we're done with that one. Um. Alrighty then. So moving on. All right, so we're all warmed up now, and the blizzard's actually dissipated now. Wow, I feel great now, and the weather is better. A little more climbing, and we'll be at the top. Let's go. What? An earthquake? Oh no, it's not an earthquake. It's an avalanche. And introducing the game I or the mini game I hate the most because it's just kind of annoying. Um, all you do is step left and right to try to avoid the snowballs. If you get hit, you lose half of your coins. Um, yeah, this is probably the most threatening of the mini games. It's relatively easy to predict where the snowballs are going, and personally, the best strategy is just to stay in the center um, because then you can just react a little faster to where you need to go and where you don't want to stand. All right, so I need to step here. Um, oh dear. See, this is why I stand in the center because sometimes it forces you to go all the way from the right to all the way to the left. So you want to be in the center just so you can be able to get to the far side that you need to go. Um, I did a lot of standing around for that one, so. But hey, I'll take it. All righty then. So, and no, I will not play that again. I hate that mini game so much. All right, moving on to the third level, or yeah, do I want to stop by the shop? Nope, there's nothing they have in there that I could possibly want. Um, anyway, we finally made it. Let's get the key back. Excuse me, sir. Would it be possible if we could get that music key back from you? You know, the one lodged inside your head. How do we know it's a he? Maybe it's a she. And silence. Sir, excuse me, I was talking about that key right there. We'd like it back, please. Guess you're the strong silent type. Well, I guess you could say he's giving you the cold shoulder. Uh, <laughs> um, sorry. <laughs> Did you see that? I was ignored. He's cold. So cold. I got it, Mario. How about you melt him with your hot dance moves? If you know what I mean. 
and head turns, music key activates, and now we get to do probably one of my favorite songs of the game, Deep Freeze from Dr. Mario. Um, you guys will know what it is once it starts, but this is probably one of the more well-known songs, or Dr. Mario songs, I should say. A lot of people don't know about Dr. Mario, but anyway, so just buy some extra lives, and we're moving on. So, the concept here is similar to the booze, where you step on a smaller object and it makes something go away. So in this case, we're stepping on fire flowers to send away the ice sky. So, I'm going to be quiet now, and you're going to listen to some awesome Dr. Mario music. Everybody is watching you. Everybody is watching you. Alright, and just like that, we melted Big Ice Guy, and the music key is now ours. Alright, so moving on to the next level, which there's only one more left in this world. Wow, you were really on fire! We've got all the music keys, let's go back to Truffle Towers. And we're gonna ride down in some sleds, of course. And guess what? Meet stage four. We're running from an avalanche. See, whenever I took this game or I looked at it, Mario doesn't look like he's like in fear. He's just kind of riding a roller coaster, waving his hands up and down and whatnot. Oh, but that's just me. The way home will be a piece of cake? You never know. Use the power of dance to get through it, because apparently dancing in a sled lets you speed up. Um, step on these and your dance meter will drop significantly. Be careful. Um, so, ice spinies. Basically spinies except they're ice to fit the stage better. Alright, so this is the final part of this, or the final song of this, um, chapter. Or, what part, world, god dang, I can't talk. Anyway, I'm gonna be quiet, and we're gonna begin. Good. 
Alright, and just like that, we're at the base of the mountain again. And we're done with this world. Alright, another well done song. Another 100 coins for me. So, um, all we have left is a bonus game and some exposition, I suppose. That was scary. Hey, Mario, wait for me! Actually, we should just definitely leave Toad there and then just have him play in the cabin and never come back. Alright, so the last part of this is the bonus stage. And it looks like block treasure, um... This is not... This is just basically random. You don't know what's in them. It's just pressing up and moving left and right as fast as you can. It's fairly simple. It's not really... It's kind of pointless if you ask me. All right, man, that's it. It's not even what I would call a bonus game. Excellent. You get a meager amount of coins. I guess the one-up is kind of worth it if you're having trouble, but whatever. So, guys, that's going to do it for episode four for Dance Dance Revolution Mario Mix. This has been Mr. Abby's Missing, and I will see you in the next video. Everybody.